Hey, what's going on everybody? On today's video, if you are a high ticket sales rep, coach, consultant, or agency owner, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this because we're gonna be discussing how to use tonality to convert and close more deals and why that's so important. So let's jump into this training, take out a piece of paper and a pencil, take down some notes, and let's go from there. Awesome, you guys. So as I've shared in other videos before, once again, it is not what you say, but it is how you say it. We've heard that from time and time again. One of the biggest mistakes that I have seen high ticket sales reps make over the course of the last 20 years is they just are poor communicators. They do not know how to use voice fluctuation, tonality. They don't know how to keep somebody's attention. They don't know how to get somebody excited when they're talking about certain things. And so therefore they have become less inspiring to move people towards taking action towards their goals, which is what this is actually all about is helping people to move forward to what they actually want. So once again, the two most important reasons why tonality is so important is number one, to be able to keep people engaged. And number two, to emotionally draw them into the conversation. That is why tonality is super, super important. The minute that somebody's paying attention to something else, the minute that somebody finds you boring, that is when they're not gonna be paying attention to you anymore and pretty much you've actually lost the deal. So what I wanna do here on this training is I'm gonna go over the different types of tonalities that I have used and trained other sales reps how to use under different circumstances. So those are, number one, the curiosity tone. So anytime that I'm going through my discovery and I'm finding out additional information about somebody, and I find out, for instance, if somebody's been in a particular business, but things have been stagnant for the course of the last five years, I'm gonna use the curiosity tone like, oh, interesting, tell me what, that's been going on for five years. Tell me a little bit more about that. Now, number one, that's going to say, hey, I actually care about what's actually happening. Number two, that doesn't make a ton of sense that things have actually been stagnant for five years, and it's gonna draw the prospect into wanting to really give clarity as to why that has actually happened over the course of the last five years. And plus, they actually wanna be able to explain and either they're gonna take ownership for why that's been gone on for the last five years, or they're gonna have a good explanation. Regardless, it's super important for you to be able to understand that. Number two, the excited tone. Now, this is what I explained to every sales rep. There's a huge difference between excited and cheesy. Any kind of good sales conversation is a bit emotional roller coaster. At the beginning, we're excited to be able to talk with them. Then as we kind of get into their current situation and really dive into what's actually happening, sometimes that gets a little bit, especially from a tonality, it's more of a listening. It's more of a doctor standpoint. Then as we start to transition and talk about actual goals, this is when the tonality and things get excited and the pace typically tends to pick up. Using that excited tonality, this is when we want to be able to create emotion with an individual, make sure that they're paying attention and to find out their sincerity behind what they're actually wanting to accomplish. Third thing that we'll use oftentimes or I'll use oftentimes is the understanding tone. This tonality is when somebody's kind of breaking down exactly why their situation is is the way that's actually understanding. And I'm going to use the tonality of like, hey, look, I totally get it. Been there myself. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to pay attention. Purpose of this is because it's going to create better rapport. Here's what's interesting and why I'm actually doing this training. In the back of my mind, I'm sitting here thinking, this is all such no brainer type stuff. And hopefully you're somebody that actually thinks this themselves too. Shockingly enough though, in listening to thousands of sales calls is that people oftentimes from a communication standpoint, they're horrible at using tonality and voice fluctuation. They're super monotone, they're super boring to actually listen to, and they have very little idea on how to capture somebody's attention in from a conversation standpoint. Becoming a master at tonality is crucial to success, especially inside of sales. All right, you guys, so number four, it's what I call the logical tone. The logical tone can be used a couple different ways. One of those ways that you can use it, especially when the prospect is, you know, let's say they're having a difficult time with moving forward word with actually purchasing your product. And let's say the emotional component, you know, them staying where they're at. Now we start to kind of look at it from a logical standpoint. And I'm going to use this tonality by saying something that effective, like, all right, cool. So listen, Bob, you, we've talked about where you're at and you've been stagnant over the course of the last five years. What changes do you think that will actually happen over the course of the next 30 days based off of the last five years record? If you don't get additional support or help, and it's that logical tone, right? And that logical 
sometimes different personalities need a different approach. Sometimes you could just be excited about somebody actually taking action and improving their life or their business, depending on the product or service that you sell, and they're going to actually buy. Sometimes engineers, more logical people need kind of a logical tone or explanation to meet them at where they're at in order for them to move forward. The next tone, number six, is that clarity tone. So this tonality is one in which, you know, hey, fill me in a little bit more on what you actually mean by that. When you tell me your business has been, you know, at X in revenue, clarify that. Is that really what's happening? Or, you know, it's kind of like a slow tonality where you're looking for clarity. When you say that, you know, let's say you're selling marriage counsel and you say, okay, so, you know, you say your wife is about to leave you. Why? Hopefully that's not the case, but tell me more about why do you think that that's the case? So it's using a different tonality when you're seeking for clarity from the individual. The last one is what's called a shock tone. Wow. Tell me about that. This is what ended up actually happening. So when somebody tells you that they had been trying to do something for a long period of time or is clearly a problem and they haven't been able to accomplish, one of the things that I see sales reps making a mistake is not implementing shock where shock actually is justified. Like, wow, you've done, you've spent this amount of money and tried to solve the problem and you still haven't been able to do it yet. Why is that? Because they're shocked too. You have to meet them where they're at from an emotion standpoint inside of your tonality in order to be able to create that rapport. Now, guys, big picture, these different tonalities, these are all basics of communication. When you're going through sales conversations, you need to learn how to utilize different tonalities at different stages in order to engage the prospect better, to create better rapport, and to keep somebody's attention throughout the actual sales conversation. Hopefully this made a lot of sense, guys. If you have any questions, like always, click the link below, comment, like us, and as always, if you want more content like this, follow us here and looking forward to talking to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.